Welcome back to Brundage World. It's your girl, Lele. watching my son Erlito and watching my nephew Papito. Well, his name is actually Alejandro, but we call him Papito and sometimes we call him Pito. Either one is fine because he responds to both. <laughs> I was going to bring him on camera, but then I thought I haven't introduced him and I wanted to give a disclaimer because my nephew had a tragedy a couple years ago when he was two years old he's nine now but when he was two years old he did drown in my mother's pool and it was devastating he was under water maybe seven minutes and we thought he was gone thank god fire station 38 did their best and they brought him back to life and i'll get further into that later but he suffered a lot from this incident. He has a speech impediment, he stutters, he's been in and out of the hospital. He is not on his level intellectually. Um, he may be on the same level as a kindergarten or first grade, but he's definitely progressing. We treat him as if he is a regular nine-year-old, but we also have that in the back of our mind that he is not. I love him dearly. I love all of my nieces and nephews the same. They're like my own children. They're always with me whenever they're able to. So I definitely wanted to introduce him to Brundage World because you will see him in future videos, pictures, and so forth. So I thought it was very, very appropriate to bring him on camera. So my nephew was actually on Channel 7 News. They covered his story and I'm going to show that clip so you all can be aware of his story. Here's the video. Now first responders have something new to save lives. Lynn Martinez shows us this timely treatment. supposed to be a happy day for Jamulet Garcia. I had just got back in town and I decided to cook for my parents. Her two and a half year old son ran outside to play. My father came in the house and he said, did you see Alejandro? And I said, he's outside with you. They found the little boy lifeless in the backyard swimming pool. I started getting hysterical and I started running down the street screaming and hollering for somebody to help me. When paramedics got to the pool, her son wasn't breathing. I started telling them, please, please save my baby, save me. Station 38, this will be for both units and battalion four. Respond on a two-year-old drowning. When Miami-Dade Fire Rescue got the call, they jumped into action. Anxiety level is always a little bit higher when we're dealing with children. But this call was different. This was the first time that myself and I believe the entire crew has used the hand heavy system. That system is crucial when it comes to saving drowning victims. They need a shot of epinephrine to start their hearts, but the dosage for a child depends on his or her size. We have just a few minutes before the brain loses so much oxygen that it won't function normally ever again. The hand heavy system, named after local ER doctor Peter Entebbe, gives paramedics the specific dosage information before they even get to the scene so they don't waste precious seconds. We know that, generally speaking, a one-year-old should be about 10 kilograms, a three-year-old should be 15, five-year-old 20, and so forth. In Alejandro's case, he had been underwater for seven minutes, but the crew was prepared. They got his pulse back within a few minutes, and those few minutes are critical, obviously. Alejandro was rushed to Jackson's trauma center where he was on a ventilator for nine days. He suffered brain damage and had to relearn how to walk and talk. It's something to 
as simple as saying a mommy he had to learn how to do all over again. But Alejandro is making a lot of progress. <laughs> Both he and his mom are grateful for the paramedics who saved his life. For going beyond the call of duty and excelling in service that saved my son's life. A special plaque presented to the paramedics from Station 38 who are clearly moved by Alejandro's miraculous recovery. It's an amazing feeling. This is why most of us signed on for this job. I think that this is one of the most valuable things that we could have done for our department to help save children's lives. <laughs> After almost losing her baby forever, Jamila is overjoyed to have him in her arms. The miracles are still happening every day, and my son is a living proof that God is still performing miracles. In addition to Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, the cities of Miami, Coral Gables, Key Biscayne, and Hialeah all have implemented this system. In the Newsplex, Lynn Martinez, 7 News. There you have it, folks. Papito Alejandro, he is a living miracle. He had to learn how to do everything all over. Walk, talk, everything. So here we are. Dr. Han Tevi's technique got Alejandro's heart working again now we have to work on his neurological deficits as a result of his near drowning the aims of physical therapy are to promote and restore body's functionality a child with neuromotor deficits uses compensatory mechanisms to overcome the power of gravity thus the repetition in the realization of such compensation creates muscle imbalance, deformities, increased hypotonia, and impair the child's functionality. Skilled physical therapy will work to address these issues one layer at a time. As you can see, his mother is using Ferrero Rocher to get his attention. He is going to at some point gaze his eyes on the prize and begin to use the muscles in his body to come up on all fours. He needs to be able to hold his head up and move his trunk side to side. And he did it. He did it. He did it. He did it. And now he is swimming like a fish. I thank God for him giving us a second chance with Papito because he is the joy of my life. Well, my kids are the joy of my life, but my nieces and nephew are like my own children. So they bring me so much joy and I'm happy to have him around. And my son is his best friend, even though they're cousins, they love being around each other. So you will see him in future videos, um, future pictures, future everything. So. Stay tuned. Papito is doing so well. I thought he was going to be afraid of the pool or going around water, but I don't even think he remembers. So that didn't prevent him from learning how to swim. And now he is swimming like a fish. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a clip of that too. Do you remember anything about drowning or going to the hospital? No. Nope. Have you seen any pictures? Yep. Papito, yep. did drowning in this pool make you scared to learn how to swim? No. Nope. Oh, not no more. Not no more? It was a long time ago? Yep. How often do you swim in the pool? Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. <gasps> not separate, every day. <laughs> it's relaxing or fun? Freeing and fun. <laughs> and relaxing. I'm happy to be alive. You're happy to be alive? Yes. I'm happy too. Okay, so do you have any advice to kids in regards to safety in the pool? How not to drown? Go, 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 go put on your life vest. Go put on your life vest and learn how to swim, right? Yeah. Everyone, please how to swim. That's right. Everyone, please learn how, how to, to swim. swim. Now go ahead. Let me see you swim.
Go back. Go! And go! Ah. There he goes. Swimming like a fish. Enjoy. enjoyed seeing him swim back and forth in the pool he's doing so good i know but it's time for him to get out now come on pito it's time to get out now coming did you enjoy that swim <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching bye. bye and give us a big thumbs up that's right make sure you like comment and subscribe